I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider cases where at the critical point we may not have local maximum or local minimum. There are basically two cases. So let me sketch these two cases for you and then we will discuss them at length. The two cases which we are talking about are one where the derivative could be of the form where it is horizontal right like this but like this. Do you understand? A function like a cubic function as you can see at this point here the derivative is going to be 0 but if you analyze if you watch it you will see that it is neither a maximum nor a minimum. Similarly we could also have kind of a square root function right so we could have cube root functions kind of like this whose graph may be like this right so I'm just drawing them to make it absolutely clear as how can we have a critical number and not have a maximum or a minimum uh, for example let us take this point as uh, minus 2 so I could write a function which could be uh, let us say f of x equals to x minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 right if you analyze this, what is the derivative of this function? Derivative of this function is 1 over 3 x minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1, right? So which is, if you do 1, mi 1 over 3 minus 1, you get minus 2 over 3. So in this particular case, this could be written as 1 over 3 times x minus 2 to the power of 2 over 3. Clearly, we have a critical number at x equals to 2, right? So at x equals to 2, the derivative for the given function is undefined, right? So we have critical number at x equals to 2, right? If I write it is undefined at x equals to 2, correct? Now, if we analyze on either side of this x equals to 2, if you take a test point on the left side and on the right side of this particular function, what do you notice? Since it is 2 over 3 in the power, right, the square makes it positive, right? So, so if you analyze on left and right side of this function, let us do it here. Let's analyze this function now. So what we will do here is, we'll analyze the derivative. We'll use a different ink. Let me take a test point for this particular function as x equals to minus 3, which will be on the left side, and x equals to, let us say, 0 on the right side. In that case, how will the derivative be for the function? Is it increasing or decreasing on these points? That is what we have to check. So if I substitute minus 3 here, what do I get? I get, so we'll find derivative of the function at minus 3. So that will be, if I substitute minus 3 here, I get 1 over 3 times minus 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 over 3, right? 2 over 3. This is going to be positive. Let us calculate the value. So it is 1 divided by 3, right? So we'll divide this by, uh, within brackets, let me write, I should have written earlier also, minus 5 to the power of 2 over 3, 2 divided by 3. And let us say what is this equal to? It is 0 0.11. So important thing here, it, it is positive 0 0.11. Do you see that? If I take a point on the right side then what do we get so we'll get the derivative as f dash of let us say 0 if I write 0 here I get 1 over 3 times 2 to the power of 2 over 3 right? rather minus 2 I should write right? so it is 1 divided by within brackets 3 times 2 to the power of 
2 over 3 2 divided by 3 bracket close let's go like this bracket close for this is for inside and then one more equals to so we get we get 0 0.20 do you see it is also positive so the derivative is positive on the left side and is also positive on the right side since it is not changing from positive to negative or positive to or negative to positive we do not have local maximum or minimum in this particular case you get the idea right similarly we can do for this function also so here let us take the function f of x as equals to uh, let us say x minus 1 whole cube then the derivative of this function will be 3 times x minus 1 whole square. Clearly, the critical point C, let's say critical number, is at x equals to 1. It is 0 at that point, correct? Now, if you take the derivative at 0, what do you get? You get 3 times 0 minus 1 whole square, which is 3. And if you observe the derivative on the right side of 1 let's say this is 1 we took 0 let's take 2 as a point so it will be equals to 3 times 2 minus 1 whole square which is 2 minus 1 which is again 3 so what we see here is derivative is positive on both sides you can see it is increasing both sides since it is increasing both sides of the critical point we have no maxima or minima right so so these are two conditions where you can show that the critical number may exist but at that point local maximum or local minimum value may not exist right here is a case where the critical number is because the derivative is undefined and here is a case where the critical number is because of derivative being zero that means the tangent is parallel to the horizontal line correct so I hope that makes things absolutely clear. We'll take a few more examples uh, to give you more practice. Thank you and all the best.